It's very likely that we wouldn't be a band at all if we hadn't started in the Triangle and hadn't started in, in North Carolina because um, we were mentored by a lot of people who were making, who were like working musicians, which is something that I at least growing up, that was kind of a foreign concept to me. I thought you were either like somebody who played it open mics or you were a pop star, but in the Triangle there's a lot of people who work at it and consider it a craft and consider it something that they'll work out for their whole lives. So that was a cool example to be around and then we also are surrounded by great venues and a lot of people who go see live music, which isn't true everywhere in the country. I think that we didn't re even realize how special the scene was here until we started touring more because we could compare it to places where there isn't a great scene of music going or there aren't a lot of bands and um, we've been in places where people will ask us like how do we get started and they seem they feel like they have no tools whereas for us we were just surrounded by music and resources for musicians and people who wanted to hear music and studios and you know people to learn from it was kind of amazing people people often say that uh, like jokingly, it must be something in the water in North Carolina that brings so many musicians together and, and makes so much music happen. But it isn't. It isn't the water. It's the community. It's the people that have done it before us and uh, created such an awesome path for young musicians to know and uh, and come to walk themselves. My very first college class was with. It was an 8 a.m. on a Tuesday morning, freshman year, with Bland Simpson, who's an amazing songwriter and member of the Red Clay Ramblers, and he's written tons of Broadway musicals. And I just thought he was a creative writing professor. But then when he learned I played music, he started to encourage me to show me some of his, show him some of my songs, and became kind of a, mu a musical mentor. And he's that's just like part of the fabric around here. Um, yeah, totally. Both from the musician side and then from the music appreciator, it seems in North Carolina that. The role that music, I guess, is what we can comment on best, but anything that's uh, a craft and made passionately, people have that fully integrated in their lives.